the sharpest tongued woman in town. And we all know one of those, don't we? In this case, the hero is Adam Poindexter, who has come up from South Carolina to open the barbershop. And the unwilling object of his affections is Rosa Richardson. Adam proves his mettle quickly by single-handedly routing a gang of street thugs. But Rosa turns out to be a more difficult conquest. The complications multiply hilariously as the undaunted Adam presses on, much to the consideration of Rosa's family and friends, including her sister and her church affide boyfriend. Who do you mean by that? Church affide. Okay. And a busybody widow who manages the not inconsiderable task of reforming the neighborhood wino. <laughs> As in its immortal pre pre uh, predecessor, delightful use is made of revealing soliloquies and asides, and as before, all ends happily in a burst of exuberant and rollicking high spirits. I give you Sister Alice. Mm -hmm. I didn't say he wasn't good. I just said he could raise candy when he wanted to. Our Mr. Wilton was had the nicest smile. He could smile from the inside out. Men like that are scared. Yeah, women are something. I used to watch the clock every day just to find something to be evil about just before he came home. <laughs> it's not because I wanted to fuss and fight, but just so he put his arm around me and say, pay no mind, lady, I'll fix it. And he would, too, don't you know. <laughs> Cheer me up in a minute. Yeah, he was really something special. You going to get ready for your date? I told you I ain't going nowhere with that man. What you said? During what I said, I ain't going nowhere with that man. Don't start no stuff, won't be no stuff. <laughs> man, man ain't asked you to do nothing but go for a little walk in the park and it's still daytime. But well, why don't you go for a walk with him? Because he ain't asked me. Well, <laughs> and I ain't going nowhere with nobody but dressed like that. <laughs> you know what I think? She's scared, that's what. That old Adam fool just as crazy as she is. Just mind your own business, Effie. You just go on and put them clothes on. I am talking to the people out here. <laughs> yeah. Women are something. I know, because I've been one for a long time. <laughs> but a black woman something else again. Rosa like that man. But he ain't going to get nowhere. Not with Rosa, he ain't. You see, all women want is a little security and love. One without the other don't work. Dog, what the TV say, I'm telling you what I know, what I done lived. Oh, I don't mean no palace. Just a little three-room apartment if that's all you got. And if you got the man there to share it with you. And you know, there's a four-room apartment somewhere in the near future. <laughs> they always talking about us getting married for better or worse. Well, don't you know we didn't had our worst. <laughs> now we want our betters. That's all that's wrong with Rosa. She see all her friends getting married one year, get to looking all tacky the next. He can't find no kind of job. Two or three kids. And the only reason they got that many because the TV gets broken and ain't got no way to fix it. <laughs> well, next thing you know, the kids are over at Mama's and she's working out trying to make ends meet. But they never do. Oh, and I talk about when somebody got a good man. You know, one of them hard-working kind that just can't seem to get a head to hold that living wage. Well, pretty soon that sweet I do turned into, I don't know why the heck I did. I could have stopped it by myself. I ain't have to get all tied down for that. And you know who they talking to? That's right, Rose. Yeah, my Wilton was a good man. Worked himself to death to make me happy. 
And I'm stuck with for him too. I know I talk bad about him sometimes. That don't mean nothing. That man bought me a house. And you know what? His name is still on that deal. Mr. and Mrs. Wilton Morrison. Now that's security and love. Thank <laughs> you.